Hello and good Wednesday, December 20th, 2006. I'm Joanne and the US is insolvent. According to this Treasury report that came out on the 15th, the US government's total reported liabilities, net social insurance commitments and other fiscal exposures continue to grow and now total about $50 trillion, representing approximately four times the nation's total output, or GDP, in fiscal year 2006. Without authority to report commentary on the report, the report reported, it seems clear that the nation's current fiscal path is unsustainable and that tough choices by the President and the Congress are necessary in order to address the nation's large and growing long-term fiscal imbalance. So, the people responded with a party. The Dow Jones hit a record high yesterday. Woo! And why not? When I'm depressed, I like to spend too. The Bush administration responded with a budget request for an additional 30,000 troops to Iraq. The President would also like to have them there in two hours or less. With funds designed for the space programme and oil from Iraq, these super suborbital jets could fly anywhere in the world in under two hours. This is how they tried to kill Hulk. And this certainly brings the brain to the outside world. But I wonder if there's a way to bring the outside world to the brain. According to the Frontal Cortex blog, the Pentagon's special wing, known as DARPA, has been spending money on brain-controlled robots for military use. Dr. Sowers uses a process called electroencephalography to communicate the brain's commands. He hopes the disabled community will be able to put the technology to use. After the military takes over and disables the people, of course. Well, we all know if you want years of cheap research, look to the toy store. With this sweet remote-controlled RC and cycloptic video camera interface, you can terrorise your enemies from afar for under 150 bucks. Well, I wish I had a tie-in for this last guy, but all I can say is, ooh, baby, I like the way you play. It made me know many people in my hometown of Pebelabedi. And there's some sort of a star, you know. <laughs> <laughs>